Well, Sam Davis, our Northumberland advisor, has pulled this together and her focus has very much been about, yes, we're farmers, but actually we're in the food industry and producing meat for the marketplace, engagement with consumers, you know, beef and lamb are quality premium proteins. Uh, today is really all about, you know, how we can add value and how we can look at not only the marketplace here, but the global marketplace too. I think one of my personal frustrations is that there's a um, vast percentage of this country that grows grass. Um, we know there are enormous health benefits uh, with grass and yet we're not really joined up in our marketing and, and talking about actually the huge benefits there are uh, with our grazing herds and flocks and tied into that the value that they bring to the environment. Um, there's a great sign uh, the Eden Project in Cornwall that says you know you can't mow the uplands all our grass is hand pulled to replicate those grazing herds and flocks so they're they're crucial actually for the environment to flourish. Last year was tough, particularly for lamb. Um, you know, we, we absolutely have to do everything we can to protect our marketplace. So we encourage all the time people to look out for the red tractor, the sign of the independently audited supply chain by British. You know, that's a key part of what the NFU uh, does all the time. We want the loyalty of the British consumer. You know, we as farmers, we produce a premium product to the highest standards of anywhere in the world. And we want to keep British consumers buying British, buying British meat. 2016 for me it's a fresh start, uh, it's about looking forwards and, and where we go now. There's been um, you know, a lot of problems, a lot of flooding, uh, a lot of difficulties but for our marketing campaigns, for promoting our product, 2016 has to be about looking forwards and getting really joined up messages for what we want in this country but also the huge potential there is for exporting uh, red meat across the world. I think exports is, you know, is a key part um, of what what we need to be doing, you know, that the rise uh, of middle class populations throughout Asia who um, have disposable income, uh, you know, they are looking to premium products, to wanting to be able to buy, you know, different different items to what they can buy in the rest of Asia, and that has enormous potential for the red meat market in this country. We, as an industry, need to rise above such pressures and sell exactly what we do. We need to explain what we produce and how we manage and contribute towards Britain's beloved landscapes. 60% <coughs> of British farmland is grass. Uh, so today we're going to give an overview of current market challenges and the priorities within those challenges, um, the priorities within our business plan and uh, the activity that we do, uh, really leading on our market development work and showcasing to levy payers here today the range of market development work that we do and the uh, element of engagement that we have with supply chains both domestically and in export markets. Increasing competitiveness of English beef and lamb in the supply chain right through through a processor abattoir on to further processing and developing the market for quality assured beef and lamb that also at home and abroad. It's particularly challenging at the moment. We're uh, off the back of a, a, a year where uh, lamb prices have been under significant pressure. Uh, although I was really happy to see that lamb sales uh, were up seven percent uh, in the latest Cantal figures. We've got a strategic marketing plan um, which I'll be showcasing today. Uh, that, that's an, an ongoing plan to look at uh, opportunity available within uh, the category to get more consumers to engage and buy lamb and beef products.